First card that came through, already we have something going on. So it's the You're Crazy card. Now with this card, I'm not getting something dark and evil. Like I'm actually getting the the song Crazy in Love. And, but like the, not like the first version of, of the song. Yeah. So I'm getting that song and maybe people around often gun feel like both of them you know have, have have some feelings and have something going on. Okay, we already have a problem. Want to be me. Now, for any of you that have been following me f <laughs> yes card <laughs> okay spirit thank you for any of you that have been following me for a while i don't know if you guys re remember but i did this video where i channeled for off and gun and i said there is this person in the industry that is jealous of um, gun and I feel like that person is coming up in this reading now a, a little update for those of you who do know what I'm talking about um Gun, I don't know how, maybe in like a event or something like a awards night show, like performance, whatever. He confronted this person. Like I'm saying he met this person face to face. Okay. And I'm getting this full vision gun getting ready you know he has a show he has a performance or whatever he's getting ready and people are doing his makeup his hair outfits whatever and suddenly someone telling him someone on 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 his team telling him hey you know this person is backstage too like that this this person is here and gun being like okay stop doing my hair i want to go out outside for a bit and gun stands up he walks out, outside of the room he walks by the end of the building like literally and meets this person And he starts spilling all of the tea, like all of the tea, everything that he heard, everything that people have been telling him, all of it. And I'm getting that it could have been an argument, like it could have been like on a low, a little awkward to like be there and watch yeah gun was like okay so i heard you said this and that and as i said in the previous video though caught a vibe like i feel like it was mostly gun like people 
even prior to people telling Gun, hey, this person is talking bad about you, he caught a vibe that this person is not very... This person is not very authentic, not very much like his true self in a way. And I'm just getting that Gun and this person... You know, they could be in the same business, but they do not vibe at all. Like, I'm getting, like, their zodiacs don't vibe. Their whole natal natal chart is different. Like, they don't... There's not one thing that they can be like, okay, we... Okay, I I feel you on that, and and I like you for that. There's not one single thing. That's what Spirit is telling. So... Hmm. So Spirit gave me the weight card and the no card. So I feel like maybe people on gun steam were like, you don't have to like confront him him. You don't have to, like, talk to him. Like, it's not a big deal. Like, just let it go. Like, whatever. But I feel like Gun kind of had... Kind of wanted to do this for a while. But he never got the chance to. He was busy. And he also doesn't want to make an effort to, like... Put this person on his schedule. Like, he he feels like that's not... Like, this person is not important. Like, he's like, I could be getting money. And... Like... This this person is not that important to be on my schedule. Or, like, me having to clear out my schedule to meet this person. And to confront this person. It's not that important. With that time, I could be making money. I could be doing so many things... So let's just wait a little and 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 see. And if it happens, it happens. He he kind of had that mindset, and I feel like he wanted to do this for a while. And after he confronted this person and whatever, I feel like he became very calm, like very like this whole meditation vibe peace vibe this you know what I mean and I could be wrong but I don't really see from you know this is just how I think and how I feel about gun I don't really see gun being a very much uh like, a person who likes to have arguments and to fight. I don't really feel like he's that type of person. I could be wrong. Again, you know, I don't know these people. I'm just doing a reading for them. But I just feel like... um, If Gun has to confront you and tell you something and let you know that you did something bad... And tell you, hey, I have a problem with you. It's probably something serious. Like, it's not... It's it's not a joke. So, yeah. This is, this is a lot of tea, y'all. And it's all about guns. Okay. Let's move on. And see what's going on. Ooh, three of swords. Oh, okay. Okay, let me tell you guys what this is about. So... We have the Three of Swords. We have the Not Fun Anymore card. And let me start off by saying this. I feel like off 
told gun okay hold on hold on i'm gonna start again because i feel like i need to explain this deeply and in detail so before gun meeting this person often gun talked about this person and off kind of told gun like you don't have to do this like you don't have to confront him you don't have to do anything about it it's not important like focus on your work your craft what you want to do your goals your vision whatever focus on that don't focus on this person and gun was like okay and then somewhere somehow off and this person met up by accident okay it wasn't planned it wasn't if the 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 meeting was planned then i think it's off who messaged or talked to this person's manager or whatever and met up very privately very like just two two three words I have to talk to you whatever and that's that like no media nobody knew about this like this is not you probably can't find this and people don't know about this probably so off and this person met i'm talking about like not even outside like this is like a parking lot really like this is like i'm getting like a parking lot and like them covering their faces like so people don't know and off telling this person stop doing what you're doing you're messing a lot of stuff up like just stop and gun is very mad at you not in a way to like be secretive and evil and whatever towards gun but more like in a in a loving way like i want to make sure that you're good like i want to make sure that you're you're safe okay so i feel like that's why off made this meeting happen or they met they met by accident and the meeting just happened and and then a time skip right and then gun and this person met and I feel like off maybe feel some type of way because he told gun like don't you know what I mean like you don't have to do this like I'll handle it and he made this meeting happen or whatever but gun didn't really think about that like when people when his team told him like hey this person is in the building like you know j- just so you know I feel like Gun kind of made up his mind and said, you know what, I'm going to talk to this person no matter what. And let's just put this thing to rest. Again, not in an evil, bad way like, oh, I'm not going to listen to Off because who who cares about what he thinks? No. In just in the moment, like, I want to do this and I'm going to do it. Like, yeah. So, okay don't know what i'm doing and the devil card so i feel like both of them kind of feel like they messed up um off is like i didn't protect him i didn't do the right thing like i'm making it worse yeah And Gun is like, 
off is probably mad at me because he thinks that I didn't listen to him. In a real life, I just kind of felt like doing what I did there. Like, I just, I just did it. Not because I don't care about what he says, but more because, like, I just wanted to talk to this person for so long and it didn't happen and I didn't want to go out of my way. So I just took that as a chance to say a couple of words and make it clear and make it, you know, put everything to rest, basically. So things could be a little tricky right now for off and gone. Um, I'm not getting that there was an argument, but I feel like both of them talked and they felt like the vibe wasn't there and they felt like both both of them kind of feel guilty and they just kind of feel like damn I didn't have to like do that it, it could have went different and I could have done something else but I hurt oh I'm, I'm getting I hurt my favorite person's feelings y'all oh my god Oh my god. The hermit card and stop doing that. It's awful. Y'all, I'm getting that um both of them will maybe this is happening now or maybe it happened, but I'm getting maybe now. Like whatever is going on, if they have projects, if they have events currently, they feel guilty and with the hermit card, it's like I want to spend some time with myself because I feel like I messed up and I feel like I've done something I should not have done. And I feel like if I spend some time with myself, maybe I'll figure it out, you know. And stop doing that. It's awful. So all it feels like Gun is mad at him and Gun feels like Off is mad at him when it's really not that, y'all. It's really just both of them thinking they did something wrong and I'm getting that everything happens so fast even if, I don't know, even if they, even if things went differently, like I just feel like it's it's not a huge deal, but both of them feel very guilty. Um, okay, let, let's get a couple of more cards, and I'll I'll go with the messages for love. money bag um we're meant to be okay needing guidance and the moon card okay so often gonna are gonna be focusing on their work, their money, making sure, <laughs> I'm getting, making sure bills are paid, okay, um, but when it comes to their, whatever they have going on, I don't want to, you know, say anything, but whatever they have going on, when it comes to, to them, they need a little bit guidance, like, I feel like they need a little bit of time by themselves, okay, a little bit thinking, a little bit guidance, it doesn't have to be from spirit, I don't know if they, like, what they, what they, uh, preach and what they, 
feel like it's out there, you know what I mean? But um, maybe guidance from a friend, guidance from mom, guidance from, you know what I mean, like family, friends, people. If it's spirit, then, you know, sending a prayer and asking for, for help. And moon card, it's like, I'm getting like something hidden okay because the because the moon card is all about something that's hidden it's all about something that's that we don't know you don't know you know and i feel like both of them don't know and are not aware of first of all how precious their thing going on is and how they affect people, like, they make people so happy, and I'm getting that a lot of great things are gonna happen, and they're not aware, and I don't know, I just... The spirit is like some of these great things happen <laughs> but re really though like a lot of good stuff is about to happen and a lot of people evil people are praying on a downfall for often often done but when you have somebody that's a beautiful soul, someone with a good heart, no matter how much you want them to fail, no matter how much you want them to, to, to like, not be on top, they're still gonna make it, so, oh, we have the I love you message, okay, y'all, I feel like, hold on, this other message that, should I call you? Yeah, it's, it's, this time around, it's gonna be like, like, in, in high school, when you have a crush on a person, and like, when you're nervous, when you don't know what you're doing, when you feel guilty for everything, when you want to make it right, you don't know what you're doing, like, that, that type of vibe, like, should I call them, should I text them, should I, yeah, so... Okay, you guys, thank you so much for watching it till the end. Make sure to like, make sure to leave a comment, tell me what you think, and I'll see you guys in the next one.